and China has a, a as you as you rightly put it a very important role to play uh, internationally there's there's a lot that I understand is already underway uh, uh, on, you know to help multilateral efforts there's also a lot that China could be doing uh, uh, on the on the economic side some of these are, are still the underlying trade and technology tensions uh, that need to be dealt with dealing with those is going to help remove the cloud of uncertainty and improve improve global trade and, and, and thereby lift lift growth for the world. Uh, and you know obviously that's not something China can undertake on its own. It, it, it needs to work with its trading partners to work constructively uh, to kind of make the changes that are needed to the global trading architecture, global investment systems, both in terms of fiscal policy and monetary policy that has helped to mitigate uh, the impact of the crisis and help the economy begin to rebound at a, at a record pace. I think it's appreciated that there's a renewed focus on making sure that China boosts, uh, uh, boosts its growth trajectory, uh, including from domestic sources. What, what this is going to bring into focus is the need for uh, you know, deep structural reform that strengthen the role of markets in private firms. So uh, there's, there's going to need to be effort in this area um, that quite frankly could actually help, uh, help the recovery now, uh, create jobs and provide a more balanced uh, role. And then longer term, this will provide benefits because it's going to help anchor a, you know, a stronger growth trajectory uh, that is more resilient for, for the Chinese economy. Um, and uh, and that, 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 I think, is, is, is quite in line with what the government has, uh, has stated in terms of uh, dual circulation.